In this video we're going to be modeling the pin slider block for the trammel toy and this is going to be part of activity 132 making holes in CAD. So in order to get started I'm going to go up here into create and I'm going to select on shape document and we're going to go ahead and call, the, call this the pin slider and I'm going to go ahead and add this into my activity 132 making holes in CAD folder. If you haven't created one yet go ahead and do so uh, either before or after and move that file into this folder so I'll double click into the folder and click create and this will load us into our on shape workspace we're gonna go ahead and select in this case I'm gonna select the sketch tool and I'm gonna select the right work plane as my sketch plane and I'm gonna go over here to the right over to the uh, browser right click on the top plane and select hide all planes and I'm going to press the N key on the keyboard to turn my sketch normal to the sketch plane. So what I'm going to end up doing here is I'm going to take a, the line tool. I'm going to go ahead and grab it. I'm going to drag or uh, select the origin. Go ahead and draw a line that is vertical here. The height of this line for the pen slider is going to be, I'm going to go ahead and escape the line. And I'm going to grab this dimension tool. And go ahead and dimension this out to be the height of the pen slider which is 0.813 and I'm gonna zoom in here and we're gonna use this as a center line so I'm gonna escape the dimension tool or I can click on it I can also press escape on my keyboard I wanna right click on this line and select construction this will create a construction line for me and I'm gonna rerun that line tool and I'm gonna go ahead and draw half of the profile of the pen slider so which will look a little bit like this I'm just gonna worry about drawing it in I'm going to touch that top part just to get a tracking line and then touch and connect to there. Some of the measurements that I'm going to look for as I run my dimension tool, the height of this portion will be 0.375. The overall height, of course, is 0.813. The, from this edge to this edge will be 0.141. And then from this line to the center or as we kind of take a look also I'm gonna go ahead and actually hit escape real quick I'm actually gonna choose this edge and choose the center line this will be a measurement as I look at my drawing of 0.367 now in order for this to become a closed loop profile what we're gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and escape the dimension tool by right clicking and selecting that from the menu then I'm gonna go ahead and grab the mirror command and the first thing it says is select the mirror line. So I'm going to use the construction line. And then it says select the entities to be mirrored. So I'm going to go around and continue to click all the way around until it gets a complete sketch in here. And once it's fully constrained and I have that there, I can go ahead and select the green check mark. I'm going to right click and select the isometric view. And we're going to go ahead and extrude this. And we're going to select the shape. I'm going to do a symmetric extrusion. This is going to be 1.75 as far as extrusion depth. And here we can go ahead and select the green check mark. So there's going to be our pen slider. A few options that we're going to change is I'm going to go up here to grab the chamfer tool. We're going to set in a 0.125 chamfer. I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to click on the vertical edges of these on each end. Rotate around select those as well and go ahead and select the green check mark the other item that we need to do with our pen slider is is we need to run a fillet so it'll be a 0.25 fillet I'm gonna select this edge you'll see that it'll round down and I'm gonna go rotate around and select the other one and select the green check mark to apply those if I right click and select isometric there's what our pen slider looks like so far our last thing is going to be to add in the hole that is right here in the middle of our pen slider. So as I look at the hole node, I'm actually going to rotate down below and I'm going to add a sketch right on the bottom face and I'm going to press the N key to turn it normal to that sketch plane. I'm going to grab the point tool and I'm going to place it right on the origin. And I'm going to right click to escape and select the green check mark. Once I have that, I'm going to go ahead and select the hole command. And with that, I can go ahead and click on that point, which now allows me to set in a hole. 
This is going to be a, if yours is set to simple, you can always set this to counter bore. And our hole type is going to be drilled. And then for the uh, size of that hole, it's going to be 0.165. It's going to be a through all termination. The counter bore is 0.177 with a depth of 0.633. And I'll go ahead and select the green check mark to set that in. And you'll see all those measurements will show up there. And if I look, there's a small edge in here, which is part, that's where our pin is going to grab and to be able to hit in. And that's kind of going to be what we have going on. It's a little bit larger in the bottom than what we have in toward the top. And it goes all the way through. If we want to change the appearance of our pin slider, I can right click, say edit appearance. And maybe you can select a color that you'd like to apply for our pin slider. Here we go. I'll choose red and select the green check mark. I can always hide the origin as well. And this right here is going to finish the pin slider model in Onshape and be ready for future assignments.